Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect to a CentOS machine from a Windows machine using SSH keys. So you can use this to set it up that you don't get prompted for a password when logging in to your CentOS machine from your Windows machine. So to get started here I'm just going to open up Internet Explorer and I'm already on putty.org and I'll post this link in the description below. So I'm just going to click to download putty here which is an open source free application and I'm just going to download the 64-bit version here. Oh, I'll just click add onto this. Add and close. And hopefully we should start downloading now. Okay, I'm just going to click save on this. And let's click view downloads here. It sees nearly down. I'll just pause this while it's downloading. Okay, and I'm just going to click run here. And I'm just going to go through the setup. I'm going to click next. I'm going to leave it as the default. I'll click next. I'll click install and I'll click finish. Perfect, so I'm just gonna close all this down here so we get back to our desktop. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna click on my start menu here and I'm just gonna open up Putty and just make sure I can connect to my uh, server normally. So I know my server is reachable over the IP address 192.168.137 dot one tree tree and that's what's going to call this my server and let's just see if i can pop in my username here as well so i just click data and i've put an auto login username as darren and i'll just go back here and i'll click save for my server so i'll click on my server i'll click open let's click yes to this that's just prompting me for my password and perfect, you can see I've now authenticated into my server without issue. Okay, now that we know that that's working, I'm just going to click exit here to leave Putty. And I'm going to click back on my start menu and I'm going to open up Putty Gen. Okay, so we can see this is open here and I want to leave the key as RSA. And I'm going to click generate to generate a public private key pair. So I'm just going to move the mouse around this kind of blank area to generate some randomness which will now generate the keys for us. So I'll just keep doing this, we're nearly there now. And perfect, we can now see our keys have been generated. Okay, now we're just going to save those keys. So I'm just going to create a folder here on the desktop. New folder, let's call it keys. Perfect. So I'm just going to click save public key. And I want to put it in the desktop, keys, and I'll call it my public key and i'll click save and now i'll do the same for the private key and i'm going to leave it without a passphrase because i want to get into my machine without a password just purely using the keys for authentication so i'll click yes and i'm going to go to desktop keys and i'll call this my private key and i'll click save Okay, so we're getting there now. Next, I'm going to copy this text here for the key. So make sure you have it all highlighted. Right click and copy. And I'm gonna go back and open up Putty now. I'm going to click on my server, gonna load that, and then I'll click open. Okay, and I've been prompted here for my password. So I've done that, and hopefully I'm in now. Perfect. So the first thing we're gonna type in here is sudo mkdir space tilde forward slash dot ssh and i'll hit enter and if you're prompted pop in your password so then i'm going to type in sudo ch mod space 700 space tilde forward slash dot ssh Perfect, and I'm also then going to create my file now. So I'm gonna type in sudo by tilde forward slash dot ssh forward slash authorized underscore keys. Okay, perfect, so I'm just going to click return here. I'm going to press I to go into insert mode and I'm just going to right click to paste that key in. 
Okay, so that looks okay for us now. So now I'm going to press escape, colon, W, Q for right quit, and then explanation mark. Okay, and now I'm going to type in sudo ch own Darren for my username, but put in your username, and Darren for the group. So just put in your username, colon, your username, and then tilde forward slash dot sh and space minus capital r and hit return okay perfect so there's one more line we need to do which is sudo ch mod 600 space tilde forward slash dot sh forward slash authorized keys and then hit return okay perfect and just to be sure i'm just going to run sudo service sshd restart sudo service sshd restart and we can see that's done for us there now so i'm just going to type in exit to leave this uh, terminal okay so now let's just close our putty key uh, generator i'll close this down here and we go back to putty so you can see we still have our session variable saved from previously so i'm just going to load these in but now i'm going to come down to ssh expand that click on off and see the private key file for authentication click browse and then come back to where you saved it's one of my desktop keys my private key and i'll click open and now i'll scroll back up to session and i'll save it again so that's all saved for me and i'll now click open and you can see now authenticating with public key and we're brought straight in where it not prompted for any password so the important message to take from this is that you need to save your key keep them secure but this can be useful if you're authenticating large amount of systems you can have a unique key for each system and um, if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and if you have any comments or questions be sure to comment below and if i can help i certainly will thanks bye